All right, guys, so um, today we're gonna be doing a little bit of a wear test on the While on Earth Move Trainers. Um, just as like a quick little, just like intro into this, like over right off the bat, these feel very comfortable. Like they feel a lot more solid than I thought they would. I thought they would be a lot more um, spongy uh, in terms of like the footbed. The one thing that I don't like about them though is that um, the laces, the um, pull tab on the front, um, it's super loose and it doesn't really do anything. It looks like as if it's like maybe uh, for show, I guess, maybe because for whatever reason, I don't know if it was a quality issue or a factory issue, but um, it's kind of stupid and pointless for it to be so loose. If anything, I would say maybe they should have put, you know, another row of stitching um, here uh, just to kind of like almost really treat it as like a late true lace locking sort of like system. Um, but outside of that, honestly, these feel really, really good. So um, we are going to do some training today. Um, I have to do my cleans. Um, I didn't end up going to the gym today, so I'm going to be doing that at home. So we're going to be wear testing these with some cleans, power cleans. We're going to be working up to like 90%. So that is going to be my lunchtime workout for today. We're gonna to do some warming up and then we're gonna get into it. All right. Yeah, these feel, I think, especially I would say too, if you're wide footed, these fit, again, very, very comfortably uh, using a wide, if you have a wide foot. Um, the toe box is very, 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 it just feels, um, I mean, it almost feels like I may be able to go down half a size, but to be quite honest, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Um, but again, they feel, they feel great. Honestly, I wish maybe they were a tad bit lighter, but it's all right. My body's feeling pretty good today. I didn't go super hard yesterday. Uh, on my squats, right? Actually, we didn't we didn't do squats yesterday. We were supposed to do push press and then a metcon. Um, I only had time to do the metcon yesterday, so my body's feeling pretty pretty good. Man, it gets harder and harder to warm up quicker as you get older. This is also going to be a really long long video. Uh, so I'm probably going to be breaking it up a little bit. But I have heard, I guess, hearing other people's reviews on these, that when you're going heavy, um, the uh, the soles, uh, the mid, not the midfoot, but the soles get a little mushy. So I'm curious on how that will be, because honestly, these these feel really, really solid. I mean, I think when you have somebody's expertise like um, Matt Frazier, uh, you know, who's spent time weightlifting and understands and knows, you know, the requirements for Oli lifting, I feel like you can't really go wrong with that. Uh, we're gonna be using uh, the training bar. I got the this and a bellow bar. They are from the Boneyard, the Boneyard bars. Uh, and they're really nice, they're cheap, very affordable. Also today I feel like I look like I'm a prisoner wearing all gray. These almost kind of look and feel like they would be like a pickleball shoe too. I feel like that's like the vibe these days is like pickleball. Cause that's what everybody's doing. You guys can roast my warm ups. Positioning feels really good too. Yeah, these feel really, really solid. Like maybe a tad bit looser than I would like it. I think I'd like the upper to be a little bit more cushiony or more tighter. And, and maybe I can kind of switch out the laces and get a tighter fit on these 
And I think that's what I may end up doing is switching, getting some round laces and switching them into here. And um, yeah, so kind of just like working up with these cleans. Um, I think we're at about 95 pounds here. Um, I, to be, my, my lifts have been really weird lately because I haven't been following programs as, as much as I should be, especially with HWPO. Um, three days a week, I follow, well, three to four days a week, I follow the HWPO program. And then two days a week, I've been following the program at my local gym and it's been really good for the most part, even though there have been instances where, you know, my strength cycle has been kind of off where, you know, I might not be squatting as much because I'm not squatting on the days that we have for HWPO. But um, with the program at my gym, you know, we are doing, you know, um, hip thrusters. Right now we're doing, um, you know, single leg RDLs and Bulgarian split squats and stuff like that. So even though I'm not necessarily getting that compound barbell movement through the squat, you know, I've been able to maintain my squat strength and even regain, you know, my numbers that I had before COVID happened, before I moved out here to Oklahoma. So, you know, to be quite honest, I'm not really like bummed out. If anything, I'm pretty stoked right now. Um, and even my running too has improved. Um, the last time I PR'd my mile time, I think was like 2020, 2021 was at 7.30. Um, just recently, um, I had my second fastest mile time at my heaviest weight. So overall, it's, it's, it's felt really, really good. I will say, I, th I think overall at this time, these feel very, very, I think, similar in terms of like stability as I would say with like rads. I think um, for rads, most of the time, I would say I have no problem squatting heavy or lifting heavy. Um, and these are feeling very, very, very similar. Um, they feel like a very no nonsense, straightforward shoe. I think my only gripe again is really like, I feel like with rads, the lacing system is probably a bit better. Um, again, I don't know what's going on with this like weird loop thing um, I don't like that um, I think I, I hope in future iterations that they tighten that down because I think it's it's really dumb the way that they have it set up unless I'm just stupid and don't really understand how that lacing system is supposed to work um, but I think overall for how these like feel and responsiveness like I feel like I haven't really had to like break them in I can just lift um, there's no real, like, again, concern or anything like that with these cleans or anything like that. It feels very stable, very um, locked in. And the grip on these as well uh, with horse stall mats, which is pretty, you know, the same flooring that you'll have in a gym. Like, I feel locked in, no slipping, no sliding, no anything. Traction is just really, really great on these. So I would say, honestly, so far, these are really, really good. So I think these are definitely a buy. Make sure to check them out. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, I don't get paid for any of that. I just want to make it easier for you guys to be able to click buy. So with that, guys, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. As always, may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black. This is David, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.